Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video where today we're doing a smash or pass on was operators. I have lost my mind, I just noticed, but nevertheless let's start first of all of course and Pada. Who else to start with to be honest? She's our only female. She's decent looking, even though she's orange. Don't ask me why. I don't even know her nationality, to be honest. Uh, yeah, definitely a smash. Like, if you if you pass on that, you're either gay or just a weirdo. Uh, next off, Phoenix. Phoenix is kind of hard. He, he, he's a healer. He cares about humans. But on the other hand, he's kind of greedy. He loves uh, using his the heals on himself and... I don't think he would. I think he wouldn't be great to have a, a relationship with. To be honest, I think I think it's a it's a pass for me. Next off, we have uh, Asifa, one of the new operators, by the way. Um, we don't really know how she looks. Like, really, really, lo uh, how she looks. There are some. There is one picture called Operation Atlas uh, Atlas Lion, uh, where we can barely see her slash him. I believe it's a she. She looks. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be saying she by the way. Uh, she looks female. She has sort of a uh, a ponytail. But we don't know until she gets or he gets released. So, I I think it's a smash for me. Oh no no, it's a pass because in in the Operation Atlas line uh, thingy picture or whatever or concept or whatever, we see a lot of sand, and I do not like sand. If you didn't know, it's coarse, it rough, it's rough, it gets everywhere. It's really bad for some people's skin. Me not included. Um. Okay, next up, it's assault. One of my old mains, I used to main the guy back in like legacy edition of the game and I really liked him. Not 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 on a, on a relationship level, though I think in a relationship I would smash mainly because he, he's the leader type, he's the boss of the organization seemingly, he can bust open walls, yeah. That's that's all I have to say to him. He's green as well. Well, he dresses green, and I like the color green to be honest. Next up, next up, next up, in it, bruv. I'm, I'm turning English. I do not like that. Uh, next up, we have Blitz. I I don't want to smash Blitz. Let's let's be honest. Knowing him, he would just bust into the room, scream something loudly, and run out. He he doesn't seem interested in anything he seems very not smashable to say it's it's weird to explain uh personally i wouldn't smash him he just seems aggressive sort of he, he doesn't seem very friendly next up we have preacher my least favorite operator not because he's bad or anything because he's bad uh, in game or something just because he's annoying if you if you use the block preacher seek help Please, there's, there's so much, uh, if you're bad at the game, just get better and don't use the block. But anyways, um, uh, mm, I'm, I'm judging them, of course, of their personality and sort of, of what we get from the personality in game. And I f think it wouldn't be a smash, it would be a pass for me. He seems very insecure, he seems very, uh, how do you call it, introverted, seeing that he always hides behind the shield and almost own, uh, never peeks out, he just sometimes peeks out his, he his head to see what's going on. Uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a pass for me to be honest. Um, next up we have Ghost, uh, definitely a pass, he seems, if, if you would be in a relationship, relationship with ghost uh he would 
probably just ignore you the whole time and would come back very late from uh from work quote unquote work and then you're like oh what why are you so late again or oh, work it w was a busy day and then you're like well uh i just got uh, information that you have been unemployed for the last two years well, well yeah you get you, you know what i mean it wouldn't be great to be in a relationship relationship with him next up guard 100 percent smash he's caring he shares his armor box with people he seems overall a really nice guy only turn off is maybe that he uses a auto shotgun in a close quarters combat game but i think i can i can look over that as most people don't use his saiga and accept him and give him a smash uh next up we have probably the most controversial one on this list being lord um it's just a because i know in the comments it's gonna be crazy but it's it's a bear smash it's very close to to being a pass but in my opinion he is he's just okay he seems he seems like uh a sugar daddy to be honest he seems like that he treats you well stuff like that yeah though he seems he he would be definitely aggressive in bed in my in my opinion uh next up north i i would definitely pass on him he he seems like a great guy he knows how to ski he uh he is a bit sheltered with his whole clothing stuff you can't can't can never really see his face but I think he would give me blue balls, not because of what you think, but because his weapon is literally ice. I think he would be very, and also in, the, in personality, he would be very cold, so it's, it's a pass for me. Next up, we've got Rook. Now, this is pretty much really hard to dis uh, decide, because uh, Rook and Recruit. I'm going to put them both in a rookie and recruit. I'm going to put them one, both in one character uh, in one in one category because they're essentially the same thing. They're NPCs. They're not the main character. They will never try anything extreme. They seem very basic as I said NPC. Um but it's hard, but I I would go smash. Just, just cause they are wouldn't do anything extreme. I'm I'm a very basic person, but uh, yeah. Next up, uh, out. Our first uh, non-binary person here. I know, uh, the leaper and the entire dev team is saying no. He's male. He he he's male. And I think it's more of a, it's a pyro from TF2 thing. Uh, I think you can think what he is. You can make your, something yourself up what he is, because he doesn't. He doesn't seem like the talkative kind. He's very small. You can't see it in game, but in my in my head, he's he's like football size. You could just kick him, and he's the field goal. Uh, but mm, mash. Just cause he's pretty quick. I hope he's not quick in bed, of course. But I sound so gay. Why do I sound so gay? I'm just noticing this. Oh, you're gonna call me gay. This is disclaimer. I know it's it's pretty late into the video, but disclaimer: I am not gay. This is just. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, a smash. Because I think he would also be pretty loving and caring. I, I, he seems like to be a, a mashup between uh, Ash and Mozzie from R6. And who wouldn't want to smash Mozzie? Let's be honest. Uh, next up, Skull. Skull. Also a smash for similar reasons as Assault. Because he also seems sort of like a leader. He seems more like... Like a hell uh, as a, like as a secondary uh, leader, as a guy you would go to if you didn't want to talk to the main guy because it's something personal. 
And I think he he snipes from long ranges, which I know uh, is should be like, hey, he doesn't like human contact. He likes to be out in the wild alone. But I don't really think that. Also, he's the engineer. He's he's crafty. He can build stuff. He can, yeah, do other stuff. And yeah, and that's what I think. I think. Wait, I'm just noticing. I think Empata is from Peru, if I remember right. But I I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, it's a smash for me for Skull and Empata. Uh, Tower, my current defensive main and my main for around what has it been? Two years? Three years? I need to get a hobby, to be honest, and I need to get a retirement. I'd like that, whatever you call it. Uh, but yeah, um, very hard, because uh, I main him. You would say, oh yeah, he's going to say smash, but I think I wouldn't smash. I don't like, I'm, I'm German, so I don't like the gas aspect from him, even though he's British. And I also, I'm also a part British, but... Yeah, it's 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 a it's a pass for me. He seems to also be the leader of the other team, which is like positive again. But then the gas gas thing. If if you want to pull a German baddie or German, what would be uh, male? If you if you're female or if you're gay, uh, bad boy German bad boy. Never mention nineteen thirty nine for nineteen forty five. Um. Austrian painter, um, gas, tanks going, uh, there's a lot, just, just read up on World War II history. Uh, well, last but not least, Trapper. Trapper, in my opinion, is another smaller operator. He seems to be very, very nifty, very suspicious, very devious. If he would be in a Hogwarts, what is it, class, clan? I don't know how they're called. I, I never read Harry Potter. I'm more of a... What did I read as a child? Uh, I didn't read that much as a child. I guess uh, in his target book, however the guy's called. There, there's, there's a thingy book. But yeah, uh, I also read Star Trek. But I wouldn't count that as I like read like two, three books. Greg's Tagebuch, that's what it's called, yeah. Greg's Tagebuch. Uh, but anyway, Trapper Smash. Even though he's devious and would be in, what is it, the clan, the Sliver and Sliver. I only know this because of the Hogwarts Legacy stuff and. Yeah. But yeah. Smash. Um. Now, of course, there's two operators. I do not, I know how the next operator looks, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to show it to you, but it's, it's a definite smash. It's out of all these people, if you put them all next to each other and were like, uh, which one would you smash? I, I would say, yep, it, I'm going to say it, because I don't want to, of course, uh, spoil anything while editing i've just noticed that i forgot one operator and yeah it's a definite smash for this one um yeah his name is Phil